if we put our work in a more larger context, uh, our, one of our main motivation is um, to deal with interactivity, interactive art, but not only in terms of technology or trying out new um, interfaces, but in the exploration of the idea of relationship between the viewer and the artwork. And of course, if we uh, look into the history of art, we see that there's already a lot of participatory art or performative art from the 60s on, where artists uh, like Marinetti and, and many others started to explore this idea that the artwork should be more open, the open artwork, where the parameters of the visitor or the, the viewer are taken into account into the actual system of the artwork itself. So in, in a way, traditionally, we are linked to this idea of the open artwork or the artwork that is always changing depending on the audience interaction. And um, so uh, we found out that by dealing with technology or with genetic algorithm or with artificial life systems, uh, these systems can be even more dynamic, that the visitor's parameter, their interaction parameters can be taken into account into the software system that is changing depending on these parameters. So it's in a way a more open and dynamic uh, system of interchange and interrelationship between all these parameters, artwork, visitors interaction and then this new type of uh, form that comes out of it. So um, I think this construction of artificial life systems and interfaces is very strongly linked to, uh, together to make dynamic systems. and the contribution of the public is really important. Uh, so it's not an art object that will be just observed, but it's also uh, that every small uh, changes in the system will produce something very specific. And this is not pre-programmed, it's not like a movie, but it's really a, a dynamic system. And therefore, we don't know actually, uh, I can't predict uh, how the system will change or know where, how it will end or if it ends. Um, because it depends on too many parameters and that's, that's the important point of these artworks. We lack the randomness of the system, we lack um, the dialogue, uh, it's like uh, emergence of ideas in a way or a concept. And so it, it is an important part of, of that and I think this is um, sort of an exploration. Uh, so it's like in a laboratory you are trying things out and then you make your own conclusions. I think the, the beauty of, uh, of uh, artificial life is actually the contributions are very important and the random part is actually extremely important. Uh, you know, we always hear about the random soup, but it is true, it's actually, there are no predicted paths, it's just something happened and it works or not. And basically this uh, decision, this filtering is also part of the interaction. The interaction is the filter, but it always starts with something, so basically uh, the difficulty, of course, is to start with a very small and low-level um, uh, amount of elements or information. Uh, in this system, we have been designing sort of an environment. We are not designing an object within the environment. Um, we are looking for the emergence of a form of a behavior, the emergence of something new. And so that basically, uh, as artists, we are also astonished about the results and we are every time looking for something uh, different. Well, mostly the concepts, they are coming out in, in discussions together. So we kind of often they are also built on previous works. Uh, maybe right at the beginning it was a combination of our different backgrounds. Laurent studied video and art. I came from biology and, and botany and sculpture. So the first work, which was the plant growing installation, is a kind of direct combination of these different interests. Uh, later on, uh, we became interested in artificial life, dynamic systems, interface design and so on. And so um, the collaboration is in a way the combination of different interests. On the other hand, also a searching for innovation within the field of interactive art. Thank <laughs> you.